Okay, this question, we're asked to do the following. We're asked to express this um, subtraction of two algebraic fractions as a single fraction in its simplest form. And then afterwards, we're asked to simplify the following. The first step with these is always to factorise where possible. It makes things a whole lot easier. So for part A, let's uh, factorise. The numerator would just factorise as 4x. Uh, the denominator, you should notice uh, straight away, you should be noticing that's a difference of two squares. Okay, so what we're going to have, we're going to factorise that into x add 3, x subtract 3. And then we're taking away 2 over x add 3. Now, in order to add or subtract fractions, you must make the denominators the same. They both have uh, a common factor of x add 3, whereas the first uh, fraction also has a factor of x subtract 3. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to multiply the second fraction on the top and the bottom by x subtract 3 so that they now have the same denominators. Now you can actually um, combine them. So you can combine these as follows. This would be equal to 4x subtract, um, the answer to 2x subtract 3, all divided by x add 3, x subtract 3. Now we're going to actually just work out the top. So this is uh, equal to the following. Um, we've got 4x. Now, be careful when you're doing this. That's a negative 2. Negative 2 multiplied by x is negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 is add 6. Be very careful here. A common mistake at this point would be to write 4x subtract 2x subtract 3. That's not correct. This is a negative 2. You multiply everything in the bracket by negative 2, not just 2. And all of that divided by x add 3, x subtract 3, and now you can combine on the top, 4x subtract 2x is 2x. So you have a 2x add 6, all divided by x add 3, x subtract 3. Now at this stage you might think, yay, happy days, I'm done, easy peasy, but you must factorise as much as possible. Look at the original question here. Make sure you look at the original question. It says, give your answer in its simplest form. Now look back down here. Can you factorise further? Well, indeed you can. You could factorise the top into 2x add 3, and then the bottom is still x add 3, x subtract 3. Now that was a vital stage because the top and bottom has a factor of x add 3, which you can divide top and bottom by, and you would be left with, 2 divided by x subtract 3. Okay, so be very careful with a four mark question like that. It looks absolutely easy. Um, be careful not to make a mistake at this section here, where many students make a mistake at that section. Also be absolutely careful not to leave your answer like that and to think, can you factorise further? Because there may be a factor on top and bottom that you can actually cancel even more. Look at the next question. We're asked to simplify the following for five marks. Okay, so I'm going to do this down here. This is the question we're asked to simplify. Now, when you're asked to simplify, it's all about factorising. So let's try and factorise the numerator and the denominator. Now, when I'm looking at the numerator here, I don't immediately see how it factorises. Okay, so I'm going to come, let me just come back to that and let me just get an easy mark by factorising the denominator. So I'm going to write this simply as x cubed subtract 8, all divided by, and let's try and factorise the bottom. Well, to get a 3x squared, it's got to be a 3x and an x, and we want to multiply to positive 4 and get negative 8x's. So for my mind, that's going to be a negative 2 and a negative 2. Now, when you're looking at this, um, you know there's going to be some simplification going on here. Now, there's going to be a common factor on the numerator and the denominator. It's clearly not going to have 3x subtract 2 in there because you've just got an x cubed. It looks like this has a factor of x subtract 2. Okay, It looks like you're going to try and get to that point. So that's how you should be thinking. Now, let me just point out a rule you should know. You should know something called the factor theorem. 
And the factor theorem says the following. It says that if you have a, f a function f of x, let's say you have a function f of x, and you can find a number, let's say a, so that f evaluates that the point a is 0, you then know, therefore, you know that x subtract that number is a factor. And that's the factor theorem. OK, so um, let's look, let's do some working. So I'm going to put a sign there to just to tell the examiner I'm doing some working. I'm going to go here and do working. Now, x cubed subtract 8, that's our f of x. Can we find uh, an x, a uh, value of x that we put in to make this 0? Well, you know, if I call this f of x, f of 2 would be equal to 0. Therefore, x subtract 2 is a factor. Okay, that's pretty clear. So, uh, x cubed subtract 8x. We know we can write it as x subtract 2 multiplied by something else. Okay, it's a factor. We can factorise out x subtract 2. Now, what must go in here? Let's just think about this really slowly and clearly. We want to get an x cubed on this side. So, this certainly has to be x squared because x squared multiplied by the x gives me the x cubed I want. However, it creates a negative 2x squared. So it creates for us a negative 2x squared, which we didn't want on this side at all. So we're going to have to add a 2x squared back to get rid of that. So what must go here to create an add 2x squared? Well, if I add a 2x here, OK, that 2x multiplied by that x gives me the add 2x squared. And it makes these two things actually now even each other out. But unfortunately, it creates a negative 4x. So it creates a negative 4x, which we did not want here. So we're going to have to find a way of adding 4x back so they cancel. So how could I add a 4x back? What could go here? Well, if I add 4, that creates the 4x that I want and they cancel and it also creates the negative 8 that I wanted here. So this is the factorization of the top. Now you could do that by long division as well, absolutely acceptable, I find it easier to do it that way. So I'm going to go back to my original question now and I'm going to rewrite um, that here. So I've done my working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the original is therefore equal to um, the top would have been x subtract 2, x squared, add 2x, add 4. All of that divided by 3x subtract 2, x subtract 2. You'll notice the common factor of x subtract 2 on top and bottom, like I predicted at the start. I can divide top and bottom by x subtract 2, and therefore I get my final answer is x squared, add 2x, add 4, all divided by 3x subtract 2. I could see if I could factorise that, uh, but I can't. If I think about it, I can't. So that, therefore, is my final answer.